How's it going everyone? In today's video I'm going to be talking a bit about the anatomy of the code that we saw in the previous video. For example, previously I showed you that we created a main function and that we could open up a block of code using these curly braces. And then I showed you that we could use the print line macro to print some information to the console. And here we can print hello Bob. And then all we need to do is call cargo run in the current project. And that's going to compile and run the code. But what I want to do in this video is explain in a bit more detail what's going on here. So in Rust, we use fn to define a function. And the main function is quite special because it always runs first. Then once again, we use the curly brackets to open up a code block. And conventionally, you would start them on the same line as your function definition. But there's nothing that will stop you from doing something silly like this. If we were to run this code, it's still going to compile. Moving on, we have the print line macro. Without the exclamation mark, it's going to be considered a regular function. And macros are slightly different than functions, but that's something that we're going to be covering in the near future. For now, all you need to know is that it prints this information to the console. Here, we're defining a string using double quotation marks. A lot of you probably know me from my Python tutorials, and there I really enjoy using single quotes. Unfortunately, here, that does not work. We are forced to use double quotation marks. And I'm sure a lot of you are going to see that as a relief. Using single quotation marks isn't something that common in programming languages when you are defining strings. Now, what we're missing here is a semicolon. And the semicolon indicates that this is the end of the expression and that we can begin with the next one. So if we want to add another print line statement, we can type in hello, Bob, not boob, but hello, Bob, right after that. And then we can enter cargo run. And that's going to print hello world and hello, Bob. If we were to exclude those semicolons, the program itself would not run. And that's because we're missing the semicolons. It does not know that this is a separate statement. So we need the semicolons here. And that's going to be quite fun to get used to. Since I've been programming in Python for so many years, I haven't had to deal with semicolons in a very long time. But yeah, this was the basic anatomy of a Rust program. I mean, there are much more complex examples. And of course, the programs get much more convoluted and can contain much more logic. But in its most basic form, it's going to come down to this. Now, in the next video, we're going to be building a little project that will give you an understanding on what a script should look like. And I keep on calling it a script. Bear with me, I just came from Python, so I might refer to these as scripts. But we're going to be building a little program that will give us a better understanding on how Rust actually looks and functions. 